Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a single or double bar graph. Use the data on the graph to solve the problem. This is our question. Which fruit was sold the greatest number of kilograms for two days. How are we going to solve this problem? Alright, we're going to use the four-step plan. First, we should understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Alright, this problem is asking for the fruit that was sold the greatest number of kilograms in two days. Next, we should also know what are the given facts. As we can see in the graph, the given facts are papaya for day one, it is 50 kilograms. Day two, 60 kilograms. For mango, day one, 80 kilograms. Day two, 55 kilograms. For Chico, day 1, 40 kilograms. Day 2, 50 kilograms. For oranges, day 1, 70 kilograms. For day 2, it is 80 kilograms. And for Lanzones, for day 1, 45 kilograms. And for day 2, it is 65 kilograms. These are the given data as we can see in the graph. Yes, we already understand the problem. The next step is, we're going to make a plan. So, what strategy or operation to be used to solve the problem? What do you think the answer? Yes, you are right. We're going to add the kilogram sold for each fruit for day one and two. Alright, we have already a plan. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. So for papaya, 50 kilograms plus 60 kilograms is equal to 110 kilograms. For mango, 80 kilograms plus 55 kilograms is equal to 135 kilograms. For chico, 40 kilograms plus 50 kilograms, the total is equal to 90 kilograms. For oranges, 70 kilograms plus 80 kilograms is equal to 150 kilograms. For lazones, 45 kilograms plus 65 kilograms is equal to 110 kilograms. Therefore, as we can see in the result, the fruit that has a greatest number of kilograms sold is oranges. We already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, you can go back to your solution and check the flow of your computation. Use the data on the graph to solve the problem. What month registered the highest harvest? What was the average harvest of rice? Let's answer the first question. What month registered the highest harvest? What is your answer? Yes, you are right. The month registered the highest harvest is April. Next is we're going to answer question number two. What was the average harvest of rice? So this is our solution. We're going to add 430, 540, 465, and 430. And the total is equal to 1865. Okay, this total we're going to divide it by four. Why we divide it by four? Because we add four items. So, one divided by four cannot be. We take two digits. 
18 divided by 4 is equal to 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. Bring down 6. 26 divided by 4 is equal to 6. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 26 minus 24 is equal to 2. Bring down 5. 25 divided by 4 is equal to 6. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 25 minus 24 is equal to 1. Then, we take this remainder as our numerator and 4 as our denominator. Therefore, the average harvest of rice is 466 and 1 fourth sacks. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.